Today, I'm going to talk about my nose binding lectin pathway of the complement. And it is considered as the third pathway of the complement. And as you may know that, my nose binding lectin or MBL, uh, it is acute phase protein. It comes from the liver in response to infection and it recognizes pathogen associated molecular pattern on the surface of the microorganisms, different micro microorganisms, for example, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other infecting uh, agents. As can be seen here, this is the manose or manose residuous or pathogen associated molecular pattern. And these are recognized by the MBL. So MBL, it is composed of this complex. It is the manose binding lectin that it binds to pattern associated or molecular associated pattern. It is associated or complexed by two molecules or two molecules of enzymatic activity and these are MBL associated serine protease 1 and MBL associated serine protease number 2. Actually this structure is very similar to complement component number one. And as you know, complement component number one, it is formed of C1Q, C1R, and C1S. C1R, C1S, they have enzymatic activity. Accordingly, or according to this similarity, it activates complement component number four and two and they cleave into C4A, C4B, C2A, C4, C2B. C4B, C2B, they bind together to form C3 convertase, which acts on C3 and cleaves it into C3A, C3B. C3B will bind, and this is known as C5 convertase and it cleaves C5 into C5A, C5B. C5B will bind then the terminal pathway or the terminal component of this pathway, C6, C7, C8, C9, will bind to form or to form membrane attack complex that has the capacity to attack the membrane of the pathogen and removes phospholipids from the service of different pathogen and this will lead to a disruption of osmolarity and then to rupture is swollen this this uh, pathogen it becomes swollen and eventually it ruptures the high level of manos binding lectin may lead to cardiac disorders. But however, deficiency of this pathway may lead to infection or recurrent uh, infection, skin infection, lung infection, and maybe meningitis, maybe other infection. So this pathway, it does not 
require antibody so it is considered as an innate immune response thank you very much professor ahmed bolad